Savoring the moment, I can feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Well, for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. Do not be so quick to relax. Oh, Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointing me. Either way, the two of you have first-hand experience. Which will be of great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. It's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off! It's time. I trust you have everything you need? And so does our ship cast off from the docks. We sail west, as Kattenram did some eighty years past, bound for the new world, known to her children as the continent of Toral. Just wait, Papa. When this contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Woklamat! Sailing so far? Aye, so far so good. But this sea, she's a fickle one. Calm one moment, blowing a gale the next. I'll take my rest while I can then.
We left port what seems an age ago now, and we've seen naught but open water ahead. I knew Tural was far, but it's another thing to really know. Speaking of which, some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before. Several times, in fact. I was able to learn a few things about Tuliolal and the Rite of Succession. Since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? We're in for a proper storm, it seems. <sighs> How's your stomach? Any better? I don't know what you mean. I don't get seasick. I'm just feeling a little nauseous is all. Isn't that what seasickness is? Erinville, you were born in Tural, yes? Do many Vieira live there? The Chetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north. And your family? I know nothing of my father, not even his name. As for my mother... Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Only elves have watched. This wind's too strong to take any of ah! them. Burn the wood off the bars. We need help. Get him below decks first. Quickly, before he's washed overboard. Come, 
We should lend what aid we can. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before or since. The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, sending sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses, and thereby shield us from the lightning. What an extraordinary life she must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. Vuklama, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent, and we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne. Morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Ugh. Can't be much farther now. Can't. Seabirds. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. For a dark moment, I thought the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchor some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd Tuliolan's coasts. 
Come. Thanks for bringing us all this way. Ha! We only did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly set you adrift halfway. If anything, it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm. As a matter of fact, everyone's starting to fancy your chances in the contest. <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more. <laughs> then I better not let you down. Easy stomach. Easy. We're the last to board. If there's nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? Seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? There, look at my friends. Behold the scene of our next great adventure. At last, we are come to the land you call the New World. To my home, Tural. seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulihyolal are still few and far between. And, as we don't build seafaring ships, only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. Mamulja sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lumins and merchants to secure employment in Eorsia. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. 
rare and currently undocumented, were there some forms we should fill out or... Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? You are outsiders? Visitors to Tural? We are. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. Th third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Of course. Uh, please, accept our apologies. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Well, well. You really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? Anyway, first things first. I bid you welcome to Tuli Xolal.